Hello everybody, my name is Hackyrc and welcome back, er, it's a new, it's a new game, Brandon. Welcome to the park. Now, I'm feeling great, guys. I just ate two Hot Pockets. Um, I, uh, I kind of want another one, but that'd be weird to be eating while I'm recording, because I'd just be, like, talking and it, it wouldn't work. But today we're playing the park. It is a horror game. A horror game. He's kind of creepy as fuck. Heart and mind. I always oh, return to Atlantic Island Park. Sounds like she's whispering in my ear. I really don't like it, but I do like it. Thank you. Whisper again, please. Oh. Now you're going to get really close to my face and whisper? That's fine. Where's Mr. Bear? Yeah, where's Mr. I fucking Bear? Seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Hmm. Teddy Bear, I'm guessing? Stay in the car. Go and ask information. Right, what are we asking? Why am I not moving? What's going on? What's going on? That's a little, that's a little, that's a little better. All right, so what am I doing? I am asking for information. Atlantic Island Park, Attention bingo. Patrons, the park is now closed. Oh, well that's Please unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. I just showed up and it closes. Press right, left mouse button, left mouse L and B to <laughs> to interact with things. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Atlantic Island Park, a tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who use their talents to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infest all of those who follow after. Solomon Island sounds like some place in uh, New York or some shit. Who's this guy? What's going on? What? Is this guy drugging me? Oh, what's happening? Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. How does he Don't know my name? Yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. And think yeah. about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! Who? What? I think your boy just ran into the park. Ah, oh, shit. I'll it's closed! For you. It's closed, man. How did he run into the park when the gates were locked? Wait up there for mommy, Callum. Over here. Callum. Reflyer. Welcome to Atlanta. I'm not going to read this whole thing. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm not. I'm not fancy on reading. Atlantic Island Park. Nathaniel Winters welcomes you. That's terrifying. Uh, <laughs> he looks rather terrifying in that picture. We need to do this. Light is too bright. Okay, stop. Team. I need to fix that really quick. Oh. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, I was gonna talk, the apathy but, uh... of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention All right, but I seem to have fixed it. Okay. I fixed it. It's not as bright. Okay, and it the lighting's still okay. All right, so she just said the park is closed again. Oh well, oh my, is there an earthquake? What the fuck is going on? Wait for mommy, Callum. Wait for mommy, Callum. Oh, it got dark. Okay. Uh, this place looks fucking terrifying now. Oh, That's God. good to know. The park. What happened here? I wouldn't know. <laughs> really? That's... Hey, you little shit. Get back here. Uh, I don't give a fuck about you. I want to... What's this? Is the map of the park? Okay. So... Okay. I'm there, I'm guessing. Yeah, entrance. So, I'm right next to the Sideshow Alley. The House of Horrors. Tunnels, Tails, Octotron, Ferris Wheel, Bumper Cars, Roller Coaster. That's a very small park, you know. I don't know if I like it. Okay, that. That's a bird. That's a bird. It had wings. It's flapping. Why? Hello? Yeah, hello? Where? Oh, right. There's just that many bats? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What am I?
am I having a heart attack for? Uh, Carrie Killian is Satan's whore. Good, good to know. If I ever meet Carrie Killian, I'll I'll make sure to uh, pass that to her. <laughs> I'll let her know you, you said that sign. This place is terrible. Like, it's li you're literally going into like a rock. What the fuck? You're just going into a cave. I don't I don't I don't like it. Oh, is that that chipmunk thing? Stop it. That's the thing that was on the, uh, oh, examined shoe. I think this belongs to Kelm. Well, maybe he was running and it, it fell off. I, highly unlikely. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk mm, guy in a suit. Okay. Chad the chipmunk welcomes you to Atlantic Island Park. Chad can be seen in daily ice sculpting shows in the following locations. 11 a.m. the Sideshow Alley. 1 p.m. the Octotron. 3 p.m. the park entrance. Chad the Chipmunk, worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead-end job. Chad will die a useless slot. Okay. Well, I, was, I wasn't really expecting that to be on that. I mean, it looked like someone else wrote it, of course, but... What's this? Purchase the land on Solomon Island. Why is this light still so bright? Okay, purchase the land of Solon Island for a penance, I might add. Whatever old Archie Henderson did to the locals, just the mention of his name had people slamming doors and locking shutters from the moment I arrived on the island. My lawyers had arranged everything in advance, but the realtor still had to come and deliver the keys to me personally. He took it upon himself to offer me another warning. I don't know what you're planning to do with the land, my Mr. Winter, but the soil here is bitter with a curse carried from the old country... From the old country. Old man Henderson, he did terrible, dark things. The land remembers, sir. I dismissed him shortly afterwards, mostly amused by his pathetic attempts at warning me off. I had a great vision for this. I have a great vision for this place, and the will to see that vision through to the very end. And landing on the park, the name is perfect, and I cannot imagine it being anything else. This is the start of something amazing. All right, so this guy took ownership of this land that a uh, older man, before before his own time, uh, did some dark things here. And uh, am I gonna find out what he did? Hopefully. I want to know. Uh, all right, who who is that? Callum, stay where you are. Callum? Callum, where'd you go? Is that him? Callum, you little fuck, get back here. I gotta get on this thing. Oh shit! Come on. Oh. Come on, nope. mommy. Callum, I can't. Stay he didn't where let you me are. get on it. It will let me get on this one. Come on. All right. Oh, is it not going to let me on, dude? Okay, there we go. Whew. I was a little scared there for a moment. I was going to have to jump in the water and swim after my son. Oh, we got to go on a nice little ride. All right. I'm completely fine with that. That one didn't seem to go on the course correctly. Well, this place definitely, uh, it seems abandoned. So whatever that Mr. Winter guy wanted to do here, it didn't. Didn't work out too well. Maybe that was what he still wants to do, but I, I doubt that because it was just land It wasn't a park. He built the park. So yeah, his plan didn't go very well with whatever you wanted to do What is this? Near oh. a great forest, there lived oh, it's a like a story thing. I've never seen one of these before and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl Hansel and Gretel? Named Gretel. Where they, they find the witch? And had and very little to bite things or happen. Sup. sup? I don't like that word. I guess we're just gonna have story what time. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. The fuck was that? No, my wife. I cannot do that. What the hell just hit my boat? Then we will hit my, hit my duck boat. You fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Um, what is that? The thing's definitely breathing. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. I'm just going to look at the story and leave. not... Their mother gives them a slice of bread oh. and warns them that they will get no more food that day. It's looking at me. It's fucking looking at me. Don't jump at me. Clever Hansel oh. leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. 
when their father leaves them. What are you the looking at? Huh? Them. Chad? Is that your name? I just got an achievement. This is Chad. Uh, okay, okay, Chad. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents, I don't like that guy. Lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. How disrespectful Hansel tried to, your to kids. sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Unlocked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. Yeah. Story time gets me sleepy, okay. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. And just left them. What is happening? Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his oh. trail was destroyed. That sucks. Yeah, he he's he had a plan. I would have never thought of that. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Three days without eating? Wow. And then they came upon... I, uh, if I, I don't remember the story. Is this okay, the children good. stumbled into a clearing with an extremely so I do know strange it. house? Its walls were made of gingerbread. I don't remember its that part. Windows were panes of clear sugar. That sounds so much. I just started desperately it. hungry. Ran forward yeah. and began to nibble on the walls. My house. Yeah, the witches just always seem An to rhyme, don't they? Emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. I wouldn't. I wouldn't no trust her. Come to you. D don't trust her. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back. There you go. For the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. Oh, okay, what is it? offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Idiots. Idiots get killed, guys. This is how you die. Once inside the house, what is in the water? Is there a shark? I think there's just a shark, guys. Nothing, nothing to worry about. See, that's what happens. And put you get stuffed in a fucking cage. And cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful. The old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. And Time then, passed. Yeah. And poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Without him being fat? Climb That's inside strange. and light the oven. It's like a, it's like a chicken with just bones. Understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said, the and then, yeah. is here. And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel and cooked the witch. Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. Hansel and Gretel. Hey, all right. Well, I don't know what the point of that then, was. Because oh. even children can't survive on sweets. What they the fuck? They divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. Okay, I don't rem. I don't remember that part. Much, what is going on in the water, dude? I swear there's always something in the water swimming, and it's probably a shark. 
Oh, no, 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 God. Oh, I don't want to look at it. Oh, I don't like that at all. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Dude, that is not okay. Uh. Okay, let me, get me the fuck off this duck. I thought we were friends, but he, he just wants to stare at me. Swans, gingerbread, and chocolate achievement unlocked. That sounds like a good, a good time, but. Hansel and Gretel. Not here. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds. The old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister. Hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry. Looking for our own house made of candy. Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. It's very depressing. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Once again, very depressing. Jesus. Her voice just makes it all the worse, really. Another oh, accident. I... This place. What? This? Why? Why is my heart and eyes... Go! Oh, okay, Jesus Christ, that's loud. Oh my god. What happened to the bear? Is that is that Mr. Bear? All right, we're going to read this. Despite the constant interruptions to work at Lane Island Park, we'll be opening on time. The governor is, is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only real question is whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I deduced what was needed from the banned writings of Archie Henderson's... Uh, it's astonishing. Wait, of Archie Henderson. It's astonishing to think that resonance of positive emotion can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use negative, and that caused some of the taint that still lingers in this place. I will not make his mistake. Very soon I will know if this has all been for nothing. That's a re resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. So he's using positive emotions to fuel a... I, I, don't, I don't comprehend what you're saying. That's not a thing. You don't... It's, uh, happiness doesn't fuel parks. All right, uh, I I'm fine with that. Callum. Callum. I will. Where are you? Callum. Yeah. Tell mommy where you are. Where did you go? Where did you go? Mother duck said quack 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 quack. Why do you say it four times? I don't like that. Should just be quack quack quack. And then you just cut it. No, there's no fourth. Fourth time to say this that. old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It was like a nice fun ride. Dizzy. Interesting. Interesting fact you had to throw out there. The guy just snapped. <laughs> Who Those snapped? Poor kids. I wouldn't support Atlanta on the park as an officer on duty. <clears throat> Statement, we were waiting for our turn on the ride. Frank, me, and the boys. This fellow in the chipmunk suit was making ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit wary of those suits. They give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyway, the chipmunk guy, chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at an ice. At first, we thought it was making some animal, like a tiger or lion, but as more and more ice fell away, when you first looked, it was like a human face, smiling out of the block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions. Something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat a little bit faster, like you were a prey and that thing in the ice was a hunter. But then these teenagers walked up, and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the tripping suit, and then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments, it was chaos. Everybody was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground, and he was stab, stab, stabbing with the ice pick, and blood was spraying, and people were screaming, and Frank and I had the kids, and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was the eyeball on one of those poor kids that landed on the ice sculpture, making that horrible creature look more or less alive. All right! That is probably why the, the park got shut down. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty shitty incident that the guy in the chipmunk that was in that cave that was near me at one point. Ride Octotron. I can't get on while it's moving. Oh, I have to... Okay. Decrease. Well, that's... Yeah, that's a shitty incident. He was stab, stab, stabbing. They had to just... They had to let you know that it wasn't just 
it, it wasn't just a stab, it was multiple stabbing incidents. <laughs> ride Octotron. Okay. We get to go on a ride, a second ride. We're, this is just a, a theme park simulator, okay? Who's speeding it up, though? Or do, you probably just push the button and then you get on it really quickly and, and get it done with, you know? All right. A little too fast for my taste. Oh, never mind. What the? F There's someone in there. Why do I always like act like I'm gonna be able to see something? I need to play a VR, dude. What the hell? There's definitely someone. What the fucking shit is that? Okay. All right. That's. I don't know what that was. Who the hell was the guy in there and oh, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna run as fast as I can. Examine Polaroid. Oh, I remember this. Family ties. Alright, me and Callum. Beautiful picture. That's not <laughs> is she just that is that a smile? Like I'm getting possessed, and then he's just like, I don't wanna be here. Alright, why is there a Polaroid of us? Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. Jesus Christ. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? Is that it? <laughs> we build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. What did you expect? The baby. And as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Jesus Christ, dude. Like, she is crazy with the language and stuff. Okay. This is a lot. I thought working in the park for summer would be a lot of fun, but the end of the season here really drags. There aren't that many tourists around, and so most of the staff spend their days standing around gossiping, and most of the gossip is about Chad. I mean, Steve. See, even I am starting to call him Chad, and I went to school with the guy. It's a goddamn suit. In the beginning, it was a laugh. Steve, the local luscious Chad, the chipmunk, child-friendly mascot, had landing on the park, lock up your daughters and all that. <laughs> But the more he wears the suit, the weirder Steve is getting. At first, it was little things, like refusing to change out of the suit at work and taking it home with him every day. But then I saw him at Susie's diner, still wearing it, and it wasn't even a work day. Some of the staff complained discreetly to park management about the smell, and I saw him walking around and talking with Mr. Winter, the owner, one day. But nothing seemed to have changed. The suit still smells like a carcass whenever Steve walks by, and apparently Steve has picked up some new skills since the last time I saw him puking up in the gutter outside the cycle station, because he sure as hell could carve a mean ice sculpture. Those shapes he makes in the ice, so they give me the creeps. Steve came by the booth today, lucky me, and he just hung around for a while. I couldn't really tell because of the suit, but it seemed like he was just staring at me, sizing me up, eye-fucking me, whatever he was doing. I asked him what he wanted, and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually, I called my supervisor, and when he came by, Chad, Steve wandered off. My supervisor told me to put the, everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't want to see the chipmunk suit ever again. Laura had... Oh! Let's, uh, let's get the fuck back. Jesus Christ, that was loud. What? Who is that? Don't hide from me, Callum. Don't... God... All right, there's just the girl lady thing in there. Ah, oh, fuck me, man. Fuck me. Oh, is that going to come to life? Don't come to life. I need to scoop back up. Okay, there we go. I'm back in business. But I think that is where we are going to end this episode, guys. Episode one of the park is in the books. Um, this game is terrifying already. That's, that's not something I want to listen to. But thank you guys for watching episode one. This, this game seems pretty fucking scary already. I am not uh, a fan of the depression that she is putting upon me, really. Because she's like, treacherous thought hides behind those bushes and lashes you while you think of something else. Because discreetly, you are it'll chase i don't know i i can't do it like she does it man but thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a thumbs up 
Let, comment what you think of this game so far. It's pretty fucking scary. Give it a 1 to 10 of how scary it is. Come on. You, you, could, you could do it. Just, just do it. But anyways, my name is Hacker C, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.